I wish I'd have did this here 10 years earlier. Uh, the farm was bought in 1922. We'll be 100 years next year. My kids are the fourth generation to live here on the farm. It's 100 acres. We used to be a tobacco farm and I switched over in 2005. Uh, took the buyout and started raising strawberries. And from there we went to doing pumpkins, blackberries, and this coming season we're getting ready to put in the uh, sunflowers and hope that we have a sunflower festival. We open up about the middle of April with strawberries. Then we go right into the uh, blackberries. We have a little break in between the uh, blackberries and the pumpkins. It takes a lot of time just getting ready for the fall. We feel like we are more of a working farm, not just a theme park. Uh, we don't have no blow up fun houses or anything like that. It's all the games we have for the kids. It's all uh, country style games, something that, you know, somebody's grandmother might have played way back then, or we'd take a, a pipe and make a slide out of it. Uh, oh, water pumps, hand water pumps. We made a duck race out of that. That's the most aggravating game we have. For me, <laughs> the kids tear them up. You know, the, uh, it's just hard to keep them working. Uh, we buy these here cow heads where they throw a lasso on, uh, in which we use a plastic ring, hula hoops. And uh, we stick the cow heads in a bale of hay and they throw the hula hoops over the uh, cow head. And then uh, we got the horses swings Got the corn crib, that's the biggest hit. The uh, kids love playing in that corn. And the adults love it. They get in there and they, you know, lay down in it too with the kids. We do uh, school field trips uh, and that's, Something else is the kids, they come into the cow barn, they get to see the cows. Uh, you know, when we have baby calves, they get to see the little baby calves. A lot of kids ain't never been this close to a cow before. Uh, and we even got one horse. And uh, I've had kids to tell me, say, that's a funny looking cow. You know, and they don't even know that's a horse. In the past, I have did a um, Christmas Eve service here in the barn. And uh, we, we was running three services on that. We can put about 600 people in this here uh, barn. They'd sit on bales of hay. We'd make bleachers out of it. Uh, three services was running somewhere between 15 and 1,700 people Christmas Eve. We also gonna do a uh, craft day this coming Saturday and let the neighbors, everything that they have made over the winter with this COVID, uh, they can come in and sell it. All the time we have uh, families come in, spread out the blankets. Uh, last Saturday they went over there to the blackberries and they uh, spread the blanket out on the ground. You know, they had them a little picnic. Uh, we have them under the uh, maple tree up there in front of the house that we used to let them come down and use the uh, picnic tables for where we used for field trips and all. We had a problem in the past. We had people opening gates, going into the cow pasta, and uh, so we had to stop the public from that. Just everything that we have ever tried really worked. Uh, it was a matter of me just not wanting to keep doing it. Uh, it was more work involved or it was, you know, the money weren't there quite as good. Uh, we used to raise sweet potatoes. 
Uh, we used to sell sweet potatoes here. That was my daddy's thing. Uh, that was his first crop. And I almost feel like I've just about quit farming and gone into the entertainment business. You know, but I'm using the farm as a way to do that and to uh, educate people. Uh, you know, just different little things, how we're trying to keep the water clean, uh, the erosion and all, and the rotation of the crops. I've had a couple people that have came to me and checked my farm out because uh, they was kind of wanting to start something like this right here. Uh, I got a neighbor. I kind of helped her get started with the uh, blueberries and blackberries. And uh, I think that's going to do real well for her. Uh, this past week, a guy from Dunn, he called me up and uh, he wants to come up and visit my farm. And he wants to put a corn maze in this coming year. He wants me to come down there and, and kind of help him lay it off and see what I think about his location. Uh, the public is not for everybody. You know, you got to put up with a whole lot of stuff dealing with the public. And it's a good extra income for a family farm that you do and pick up. Every farm has got its own story. You look around and you can find something that can make your farm step aside from the other farms around you. You know, I know some guys within four miles of each other and both of them's got ag tourism farms. They're all different. One of them might be doing a little haunted stuff. The other one might be doing just straight, strictly you pick. But, uh, you know, it's room out there for everybody. Everybody just do, you know, their own thing. Just don't think that you got to go over there to your neighbor and get all his ideas. They come back and look around your farm and you'll see something different to make your farm stand out. That uh, I think what makes my farm stand out from the other ones is this cow barn. The people can come in, they can see the cows. When they get on the hay ride, they go through the cow pasture. They get to see the cows there. Uh, at the end of the pumpkin season, we have a pumpkin chunking to the cows. And they go in the field, they pick up the pumpkin, they get two of them, one to carry home, and one to throw to the cows. The cows come running when they see that wagon. And at the end of the day, they don't run quite as fast. There's something out there for everybody. You know, you just got to pick it and see what, you know, is the best for you. And uh, I never thought I'd quit raising tobacco. Uh, but I found out real quick that I had to go to something else. I wished I'd have did this here 10 years earlier. I think I would be farther along. Um, I think there would be more things I'd have in place. Uh, I think I was having to uh, I didn't move real fast because I didn't know if I could handle you know, all the people or not. But um, but I you know I wished I had you know started this here ten years before I did. <laughs>